from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, July the 1st, 2020. Well, today is the date that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had said he would begin to advance plans for Israel to extend sovereignty to parts of the West Bank. But it appears that any action will be somewhat delayed. American officials are in Israel right now discussing the matter. As we reported to you, Netanyahu met yesterday with U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman and U.S. Special Representative for International Negotiations Avi Berkowitz, after which he said more discussions will take place in the coming days. Regional Cooperation Minister Ophir Akunis spoke to Israel's army radio today and said he expects the move to happen in July, stressing that coordination with the American administration is not something that can be dismissed. The Jerusalem Post cited Akunis saying that Israel was waiting for an announcement on the matter from President Trump, also saying that a decision would possibly be coordinated between the U.S. and Israel sometime next week. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand today announced that the Senate National Defense Authorization Act includes $500 million for Israel, part of the U.S.-Israeli Cooperative Missile Defense Program, which includes funding for such mechanisms as the Iron Dome. Gillibrand said the program is critical for the safety and protection of Israel, our close friend and ally adding, I'm proud to fight for this vital program which will promote stability and help keep countless citizens of Israel safe from missile attacks. Gillibrand has led these efforts for the last three years, and while the announcement today is perhaps routine, special note is being taken because it comes on the backdrop of anti-Israel efforts on the part of several Democrats in the House. As we reported to you yesterday, a letter to U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo urging the U.S. to condition and cut aid to Israel if it goes ahead with applying sovereignty to parts of the West Bank. Spearheaded by Representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, Betty McCollum, and Pramila Jayapal. The letter has reportedly been signed by some 12 members of the House, as well as by Jewish Senator Bernie Sanders. Jewish organizations lauded the Secretary of State for his address yesterday to the United Nations Security Council. In a virtual session held on Iran, Pompeo called for sanctions against the Islamic Republic to remain. This as a U.N. embargo is set to expire in October. Pompeo said, don't just take it from the United States. Listen to countries in the region, from Israel to the Gulf, countries in the Middle East who are most exposed to Iran's predations, are speaking with one voice, extend the arms embargo. The leaders of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, Arthur Stark, William Daroff and Malcolm Honline commended Pompeo, saying he spoke of the unacceptable risks of allowing Iran to import additional arms, a reversal that would significantly increase the rogue regime's ability to wreak havoc in the region. If the embargo is listed, they wrote, U.S. and allied forces, including Israel, would be in even greater danger of attack by Iran and its terrorist proxies. Police in Baltimore are investigating two swastikas found drawn in a predominantly Jewish neighborhood, one on a public bench and one on the side door of a home. Local CBS affiliate WJZ reported the incidents took place last week. Area residents covered the hateful symbol on the bench with a piece of paper decorated with a heart and with the words, love, not hate. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, July the 1st at 7, Yeshiva University's Jeff Gurok talks about the Jews of Harlem at 8, pro-Israel African-American Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence describes her experience as leader of the Congressional Black Caucus and reflects upon the history of black Jewish relations in the U.S., 
That's from the APAC National Policy Conference of this year with Labria Lee Holt. At 9 o'clock tonight, Mark Golub speaks with YouTube personality and podcast host of The Rubin Report, Dave Rubin, author of Don't Burn This Book, who describes his Jewish upbringing and the values that have influenced his political worldview on social issues in America. At 10.30, it's a look at the retelling of The Merchant of Venice. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, July the 1st, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well. Bye.